Hello everybody and welcome back to another math learning video. Today we have this pro equation here and what we need to do is we need to find the hidden message. So there's some message hidden in this equation here of y is equal to ln x over m minus a times s over r squared and we need to find that message okay. So let's go ahead and start. So first thing the most obvious thing that is that looks like we can do is that there's an r squared in the denominator here, right? So let's go ahead and just get rid of that r squared. So how do we get rid of that r squared? We multiply by r squared, right? So they cancel each other out. And remember, whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other side. So we multiply the left also by r squared. So we have r squared times y is equal to ln x over m minus a s okay so we got that done but we still don't see any message here right so next thing that we could do is we see we have an ln here right so let's go ahead and just get rid of that ln so how do we get of we get rid of an ln so what is an ln remember ln is natural log and the te when if you want to get rid of an ln a natural log the opposite function or some of that is t placing it e so making this ln x over m minus as as the exponent and putting the base as e so we're going to do that and remember whatever you do to one side you have to do to the other side so we're going to on the left we're going to put a base of e also so we have that e to the power of r squared y, this is the new exponent, is equal to, so now this e and ln, they cancel each other out, so it's just going to be whatever was inside of the ln. So that's x over m minus a s. Okay? So now, what are we going to do next? Well, we see that we have this x over m, the m in the denominator. So let's go ahead and get rid of that m in the denominator. So how do we get rid of something in the denominator? We already did this. We just multiply by that value, right? So multiply this by m to get rid of the m here. And whatever you do on one side, you need to do to the other side also. But however, here we have two terms here that are not being multiplied together. So we need to multiply both terms by m, okay? So I'm going to write on the top here, so m times e to the r squared y is equal to x, so this x over m, the m cancel each other out, right? So it's just going to be x minus a s times m, okay? So we have this, we have our original equation simplified as m times e r squared y equal x minus asm m asm okay so are you guys maybe seeing something maybe there is a sort of hidden message already showing out but if you can't see it it's okay let's try to rearrange this problem to see if we can get a hidden message so on the left side m times e so if we multiply m times e we don't really need a to show a time sign really right and now r squared what is r squared equal to r squared is equal to r times r right so instead of writing r squared let's write r times r times y so here you can already probably read a word that came out of here mary so you may already take a hint of what's coming next so equal to x minus so here this a s and m are being multiplied together but whenever you multiply you can you can write the terms that you're multiplying in any order that you want so if you guys already took a hint before we're going to write this order as m times a times s okay so that's it's exactly the same thing and here you probably read our hidden message that we found it says Merry Christmas ho 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 so that is the secret message that we found. So that is it for the problem today. So I wish you guys a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. 
And I hope that you have you guys spend some good time with your families and have a just joy for these holidays. And that will be it for today. So once again, have a Merry Christmas. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.